Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game two between Zeke and DeWalt, part of Fighting Spirit Mania. Game one, I liked it. I thought it was a fun one. Looks like Zeke's going to get initial scout with his Overlord. He's starting in the upper right-hing corner. I like the colors on this one. Upper right-hing corner, we have Zeke starting as the green Zerg. Bottom right-hing corner, we got DeWalt starting as the black Protoss. Fighting Spirit Mania once again. And uh, I was actually showing the stream here, I'm maybe going to need to move Fighting Spirit Mania to the night play because Hasu League Season 14 is stacked. I mean stacked. It is a... I cannot wait to cast that grouping. I believe gameplay starts this Saturday. So I'm going to, again, shift for the live stream. I'm going to shift to the Hasu League games and maybe try to find time to do some of these casts at night. Play from there. I got to figure out... I need to actually mark what my schedule is so people know on stream or whatnot. So for people wondering out in YouTube land, uh, if you need a break in the morning or coming into work, you can put me on in the background. But usually I'm cast. I'm taking kind of like an early lunch break as part of work on what are kind of, I'll say, are my maintenance days. Looks like initial scout, by the way, from DeWalt, confirming that Overlord by seeing across that 3 o'clock location. So going to be able to wander into the space and see that 9 pool. Should give him an indicator. It looks like, sorry, over pool. But, uh... But yeah, so I'm always I'm generally casting 9:30 to just about 11 o'clock on Tuesdays, Thursdays. If that changes anytime in the near future, which man, I hope it would at some point, I will let you know. Meantime, additional drones being filtered in. We'll see if there's even any save larva with this, because uh, it is possible it's just going to be that preventative like ward off over pool. It's kind of a let's just keep things out of the base. Pile on down, Dewalt. A little bit delayed on getting this forge. I don't know that it's going to cost him, but that was a significant delay. We do have additional larva being plopped down, and this could be dangerous. So the forge was just dropping, and the spawning pool is finished. You're definitely. We'll see if we have how many zerglings are committed to this. So there's two zerglings for Ziki, four zerglings. So this still might end up being okay, but there are going to be six zerglings, and he went nexus before this. And that was scouted with that Overlord. So initial cannon being plopped down. Does the timing work out on this with an overpool? We're going to find out in just a moment. So with Zerglings flooding out. The probe trying to interfere a little bit. But the Zerglings are sprinting. A drone moving out to go ahead and take that 3 o'clock location in the interim. But here's the other thing that might... So second cannon warping. I actually wonder if this Overlord moves in position, takes the initial cannon shot, if the, that's going to field and allow these Zerglings to get on top of that additional cannon. Probes are coming off the line to try to help defend. The first two Zerglings are on top of that cannon. Oh, no, they're going to back out. So just because of a little bit of delay, DeWalt barely holds and manages to get the gateway down. Just a fraction of a second too late. And I gotta chalk that up to, wow, DeWalt knows his timings. So Overpool, apparently you can pull off Nexus before Cannon. Uh, even with that, yeah, even with that scout, just a fraction of a hair too late. So now I know, now we all know. Extractor plopping down, might be fighting spirit specific. Could be a lot of map specific. Probe on that back line, all of the Zerglings coming back to this location. So DeWalt getting a big economic jump Simulator warping in there. 12 o'clock location was plopped down, though, without too much trouble. And it looks like that probe going to eat a lot of damage and is going to get taken out early. Now, we've seen a lot. what a lot of Zerg players do immediately upon taking down that early scout is they will opt to go for an attempted 973 bust. Thus far, we do already have a good amount of drones at that natural expansion. We've already got six here, and we are seeing an immediate Hydralist then being planted by Zeki. Two cannons here, but they're because of all the shenanigans early, there are fewer zealots to help run out and open things up for DeWalt to get that initial scouting information. I think Zeke knows that, which is why he's folding back into this play. But a pylon, and I think DeWalt knows that because he's already putting a pylon in the background to potentially create that preventative cannon wall. Second assimilator plopping down as well. What I like to see to deal with this, and Zeke also wandering into the front to go, set, go ahead and take a look to see whether there's going to be a Stargate skipped or not. So Stargate being built. And the 12 o'clock location looks like it is starting to be filtered in. So we got seven drones there. Nine drones here. 
And it looks like two, so nine seven two. And the Hydra is being built. The Zerglings going ahead and backing off. They want to go ahead and uh, absorb and engage a potential drone. Level one weapons being tacked on. I like the level one weapons in response. And the Hydra is starting to filter forward. Two zealots along that corner wall. Level one weapons being upgraded. I don't know that that's going to finish. So 972 slightly less economical. But might pack a punch. The Zerglings are going to be gathered up with this attack. So Zeki wanting to do a, a full grouping. This Overlord going ahead and getting out of dodge. And unfortunately for DeWalt, yeah, not a lot of scouting information. Has not yet started saving money to plop down cannons. And these Hydralists are incoming. And two cannons and three, what, four Zealots is not going to cut it. Is not going to cut it. Zeki starting to approach. Still no cannons plopped down. For DeWalt. First Corsair making its way out. But as that Corsair is fielding forward. The Hydralists are already on the front door. There a cannon being dropped. But honestly. And Zeki holding up short. Honestly I feel like Zeki could punish this even more. But maybe he's just going to wait for the gateway. Before the Zerglings flood through. A bunch of cannons warping behind this. But Zeki co currently holding the front line. The Zerglings moving to the south. Probe's coming off to go ahead and blockade these cannons as well. But Zeki waiting. And honestly, I feel like if he went, that would have been it. Cannon came online. Yeah, I thought he might be waiting for range. But range looks like it was already finished behind this. So instead, Zeki, now supply capped, going to go ahead and poke away at the forge. And take things out, but all sorts of cannons on this back line now. Fourth hatchery being grabbed, so looks like Zeki's going to go ahead and move into at least five hatch plays. Single Corsair there at the main, but now actually moving the Zerglings up as they move away. Now starting to poke away at the cannon line's probes. Now drawing back, the Zealots have been taken out. The Hydralists still holding that front. More Hydralists are moving in. The Corsair sees them as they're flooding across. Another cannon being tacked on. In the background, double forge upgrades. And plus one weapons finishing. Psystorm also being upgraded. Zeke's getting himself in a situation where, because he's played so drone light, he might actually just have to go. Let's see if he just starts pumping drones now that he feels like he's in a good contained situation. But a lot of... Because of the threat, DeWalt has also needed to keep a lot of these probes... Off the line, look at this cannon wall. Eight cannons. This is looking like a comp stomp sort of front door situation. Corsair cycling through has taken a lot of damage. I'm not sure that it's much longer for life. Now Zeke's starting to pump the drones on his three bases. Grabbing that evolution chamber behind all of this. He's got a solid contain layer about halfway finished. Starting to saturate everything. But yeah, looking good. A bunch of gateways attacking down behind this. More Corsairs moving out. Looks like the Corsair fleet, with that plus one weapons, is growing. That's going to force Zeki to have more Hydralisks to defend these back corners. But at the very least, if DeWalt moves out with them, he should be able to maintain scouting information. High Templar dropping a big size storm. Woof! Caught a lot of Hydralisks in that. Didn't look like Zeki was prepared. And that actually, that single size storm potentially breaking the contain needs to be careful. A whiff of a size storm there to follow it up. Feeling a little bit too confident. Now morphing into an Archon. Maybe potentially because he was wondering about a Spire switch. It looks like Spire is being planted down. Level 1 weapons upgrading as well. Got three hatcheries there. So we're going to move up to the total of six for Ziki. Ziki has firm map control. DeWalt starting to march out with the Zealots. He's looking to follow us up with a big army push in not too long with this double upgrade. Level 1 weapons, level 1 armor. And keep in mind, Zeke doesn't know that it's a double forge behind this. Corsair is moving forward, looking for, target, for, for what targets they can find. Looks like they are going to be able to take out some overlords here in the background. But right now, look at the supply differences. 
DeWalt surging ahead, putting Zeke in the red, and that is going to be a brutal... And DeWalt not even dedicating a lot of troops, just moving out a handful of Zealots and DTs just to keep Zeke off the front and not realizing that it is going to be... And again, he's so good at the map control aspect of not sending out troops until... So right now, Zeke thinks maybe there's three Zealots out on the front. And instead, there is basically a near full control group, well, it looks like three short of a full control group, of highly upgraded zealots marching around. Looks like you do have some lurkers that are morphing to block things out, but they're marching out towards the natural expansion before these lurkers are able to plant. DeWalt needs to get a move on, obviously, because once those lurkers burrow, he has no detection in the midst of this, but this is a lot of zealots pouring in that are highly upgraded. The Lurker's trying to back out. That might be a saving grace. Ate a lot of damage right there. But a lot of the units underneath this getting wiped out. So these Corsairs being untouched, able to wipe out a lot. The drones fleeing to that 12 o'clock base behind this. It looks like that DT is going to get cleaned up. That didn't go as poorly as it could have. But still is not looking good for Zeke. As he's losing, yeah, once again in the red. DeWalt continuing to open up his front door. He's got to wait a bit for that robotics facility to finish because of that lurker switch, but he was able to get a good amount of interruption done in the meantime, and Zeke still in the red behind this, and just now resaturating that natural expansion. Zealots, I like this play from DeWalt. He's like, okay, I can't charge into you now. I did a good amount of damage. Let me just go ahead and take my third because I know you can't come out me. You're you're in the red. You can't build troops, so I'm just going to go ahead and seal and take that third, ba that third base. Filling in now with Dragoons. To deal with those lurkers in the follow-up. Getting a shuttle. Potentially to do some st storm drops. Looks like that observatory. And the double forge rolling again. And this is looking like it might be bad for Zeke in the long term. He's stuck the single evolution chamber. His economy's been delayed. So in not too long, DeWalt is going to have... And he, DeWalt continues to have that supply lead. Is he just going to run over some... There are no lurkers at the 12 o'clock. Actually catching some drones trying to transfer their way across. They're getting wiped out. The Corsair is leaning a little bit, eating a good amount of free damage. Somehow the lurker is out of... I missed this. The lurker is moving out of position. Karini to the 6 o'clock, denying that. Some additional Hydralists intercepting the Zealots as they're making their way back around. So Zeke counterattacking, but he's still going to have the upgrade problem down the line. DeWalt floating a lot of minerals right now. Moving the Zealots to the upper left. Zeke trying to careen and, and hold that. It looks like instead now, going to group up four Zealots and drop into the main from there. Trying to move around. Another Lurker Egg blocking that way. That's also blocking the Zealots into the back corner. A lot of Hydalists there to engage. They do have level 1 weapons. So the Zealots trying to back out and get something done here. It looks like four Zealots are going to drop and there's no defenses. There's some Scourge, but not a lot of Hydalists there even at the natural. And keep in mind, these, are, these Zealots hit hard. And they're going to hit even harder in just a few moments. Zealots now wide walking into the natural. Some Hydralis just spawning. But the Zealots able to get right on top of that drone line. The drone's fleeing. And they might even be able to get that Hydralis den down. Are they going to go for the Hydralis den? Working on the lair. A bit split here. Now stopping gas. It looks like those Hydralis were able to clean up the Zealots. And a huge army of Dragoons pushing in. The Hydralis completely out of position in the left-hand corner. Those Zealots... Their lives are going to be saved basically by a counterattack on the front. Psystorm over that edge. And DeWalt pushing in level 2 weapons, level 2 armor. Beautiful Psystorm on that back ring of units trying to come in to support this. Still on level 1 weapons right there. And DeWalt's units just hit really, really hard. The Zealots still running, wreaking havoc here in the main. Took out the spawning pool, so no Zerglings at the very least. DeWalt marching to that right-hand corner. It looks like he's also able to establish that 3 o'clock base. And honestly, he could still attack into this. Zeke supply way behind. And just so you can see DeWalt's army movements. Just really next level. And it's just hard to contend with him when he bandages to pull that. The Zealot's still here. They're going to get the Hydralis den on top of everything else. So spawning pool down. Hydralis den down. The Zealots finally cleaned up. The main's been completely obliterated. The Zealots now marching, forcing a cancellation in the bottom, or the top left. And DeWalt, this game, putting on a clinic. Three o'clock base, getting up online. 
Still double forge. Looks like they're silent for the moment. But DeWalt in a really strong position now. Transferring probes, it looks like, to that 3 o'clock base. Moving out in position. Continuing to get observers. He still has that shuttle someplace to maybe go for additional drops as well. Angling around. Engaging the Hydralis wholesale, knowing that his units just hit harder. And they are grouped up for really solid Psy Storms. Yeah. Zeke now just getting bullied around the map. Getting... And that's a nice cleanup operation by DeWalt. Actually playing against what Zeke oftentimes will do with the back end surround. Instead, just engaging that army full sail. There's GG from Zeke. Well played by DeWalt. Takes game two in a very convincing fashion. We're going to move on to game three momentarily. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.